Now those aren't inches, are they? No. You guys, what are they? Millimeters. Millimeters, yes, that's right. I'm gonna measure the tail, which is 68 millimeters. Yeah, you can see the band. Where I get <laughs> no fat, no BP, no CP. I'm looking for fat on this bird, and when I look for fat, I just blow gently on their belly. Um, the bird skin is transparent, you can see right through it, and the first place it puts on fat is in this triangular shape up here. Um, it's like, think the wishbone um, on a chicken or turkey. And um, we just measure, we just eyeball it, and zero fat is zero fat. Now, these guys, this bird is here year round. This bird doesn't need to put on fat, and, be, and he's very cold. I'm going to let him go. I'll put him talking after he's had a chance to. You see how puffed up he is? He says, Oh, this is really not my cup of tea right now. No mold. No mold. We're going to see how heavy he is before we let him go. 11.3. 11 11 no, it doesn't hurt him. He's just fine. Oh, my goodness. Lots of kids. <laughs> so we're going to let the bird go. All right. Um, wow. <laughs> um, birds, birds use fat for fuel. When they're migrating long distances, they will put on it. They will put on fat, which carries them for their flight. Um, our little birds, we're inland. So they, when they're migrating, they're going to migrate, they're going to leave at dusk, they're going to fly overnight, they can do up to 300 miles a night, they will then set down someplace like this and feed for the day, maybe two days, three days, depending on how far north they have to go, how much food there is, um, and then they'll take off. Um, that chickadee lives here year round. Birds are really smart. I want to come back as a bird if reincarnation exists. They never get fat. They don't eat more than they need. They just don't eat that ice cream cone. This bird, and before I take him out, we'll talk a little bit about our bands. What can you see on there? Numbers. Numbers. And words. Numbers and words. Um, every bird gets an individual number. The numbers never duplicate. All the bands come from the bird banding lab, um, and any bird that might be banded in the United States is banded with the same system of bands. Somebody's banding in Costa Rica, and they catch a bird that is going to, that's wintering down there, is going to migrate up here. Um, it'll get banded with this group of bands, and then it all gets accumulated. So any bird that we capture that has a band on, or anybody else finds or captures. Um, we can find out where it's been, something about how long it's lived. Um, the species I have in my bag is a bird where Rocky Mountain Bird Observatory holds the longevity record for this species. We captured a bird like this over in Grand Junction two years ago. It was banded, it was banded at the time. I turned the band code in and the woman emailed me back and she said, confirm this band code. And I said, oh, this is either really good or really bad. I either wrote down the wrong number or we have something special. And in fact, we confirmed, she oh. confirmed it. And we had actually banded the bird in 2003. It's a, it's a, and how old are you? Eight. So if we caught that bird two years ago, it would have been six, which was a longevity record. It's a species that isn't caught very much because they breed in places where there's not a lot of banding going on. The more birds you catch, the more likely you are to recapture some bird that's got a band on it. Okay, so what might the band goes on the leg? Hawk? Yeah, this could this could go on an eagle even. It's a really big band. This bird gets my tiniest band. It's smaller than a sparrow. No, it's a little bigger than a hummingbird. Smaller than a sparrow. Kingfisher?
Way smaller than a kingfisher. Okay, this band ends in 51. Oh, yes. Yeah. Just kidding. First one on the page? Yes. Is it written in already? Yeah, I wrote, okay. I wrote it in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm losing my voice. All righty. And this one, you guys might, some of you got bird books with you? Yeah, yeah. I do. Okay. So we might you, need our bird books. Huh? See if, some of you will know it. Some of you will not. Watch out. Ah, it's moving. It's moving, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of get out. It's moving, and this particular bag is <laughs> tight. Not a good bag. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's not much of a hole there. It's, yeah, it's really tight. It's really tight. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, the last thing I want to do is drop this one. Yeah. 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 Survey says. Oh. Oh. You no, know, it's not, but it's a good guess because it's got a yellow rump. But this is not a yellow oh, rump warbler. Oh, it's a vireo. No, it's not a vireo, but that's another good guess. Look at, it, look at its head, Oliver. Fancy look at its head. Let's, um, let me get a ba the band on it. It's like a goldfinch, sort of. Uh, not a goldfinch, but first thing when you're, when you're IDing, those of you who know. Nice young yellow undertail cobra. Those of you who know, try not to say it right away. Um, okay, first thing you do when you see a little bird and you say, oh, I haven't the foggiest, let's figure out what family it's in. And the thing that you want to look at, among other things, but the first thing you look at, if you can see it, is the bill. The bill is it's like a, a sharp, pointy. insect eater. Sharp, pointy, yep. Makes it an insect eater. It's a little bird. It is not a yellow rump. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what other characteristics do you see? Does it have wing bars? Uh, no. No. No wing bars. Does it have an eye ring? Yes. yes. What color is it? What color is it otherwise? Gray. Oh, wait, wait. Gray. It has a little, little good, hint of a crown. Oliver. Yes, he got it. See? Rusty patch on his head. Rusty patch on his crown. Where? Uh, see a hint. Oh, a red-headed yeah. warbler. Red <laughs> crown warbler. Oliver, get your bird book. Red-headed yellow belly warbler. Look at the crown. But you really can't see until you part the feathers. Somebody else want to tell me what it is? Somebody else want to? This is a Virginia's warbler. They breed up. They breed up in the foothills. They breed up over on the eastern slope, uh, western slope, and they winter in western Mexico in a very small area. You go flying. If it was us, we'd fly into Cuernavaca and drive. Um, a little south and a little west. It's an area where Rocky Mountain Bird Observatory does some work because we have some, many of our mountain birds will spend the winter down there. Not endangered, but has a very narrow range. Um, and... Now, have you had any of these this year yet? Yes, this is our second one, and 